Last year, toilet paper and other essentials were hard to come by. Now, plumbers, contractors, and the trades are experiencing a major shortage in supplies. And like a leaky faucet, this shortage has a trickle-down effect. Many of us will feel that in the kitchen or bathroom. But like this is where all our reverse osmosis stuff is. Now we only, we only have one left. And after that, I don't know when we're going to get the next one. Less than an hour after this interview at Carroll's Plumbing in Santa Barbara, the last reverse osmosis filter system sold. Jaime Maldonado, the head plumber, says the supplier told him it could take up to two months for a new shipment. Same goes for other stock items. Just getting, you know, water heaters again is getting a little hard. Old water heaters pulled out of home sit in the company lot. This is a week's worth. We normally, when we order them, we order about 10. I think they're limiting to us to now just six. Maldonado says this stock room normally has water heaters lined up five deep. Same for garbage disposals. Items that normally take a matter of days or weeks to ship are taking months, sometimes as long as three or four. Stay-at-home orders cause more wear and tear on home plumbing and the need for more parts. At the same time, the COVID crisis left suppliers and distributors nationwide with fewer employees to get the job done. We thought with this COVID thing it was going to be a little slow or slow us down. It actually seems like it's picked up. Parts for toilets, sinks, showers, and faucets line the shelves at the plumbing shop on De La Vina Street. Some items are harder or downright impossible to get right now. We talk, we talk about shortage. Now for our, our soft water, people have the option of getting either salt or potassium. Right now we can't get potassium at all. That's because of supply shortages in Canada and Zimbabwe. Across town. Delays and shortages are also impacting Capital Hardware and Santa Barbara Plumbing on Milpa Street. Cabinet hardware and plumbing fixtures are, are a major factor right now. Pre-COVID, uh, it was pretty typical to take somewhere between one and two weeks. And right now, it's taken between two and three months. This general contractor says he's never seen anything like it. The record we've had, we had a one shower fixture that was guaranteed in three weeks. Twelve weeks later, the clients actually sold their house, and we still didn't have it. Both point to a massive backlog at the port of Long Beach for the delays in supplies from overseas, mainly from Asia. I've heard that uh, at any given time, there's usually between eight and ten ships off the coast waiting to come in to the Long Beach Harbor, and there's well over. I, a friend told me he saw over 130. Some of which have up to 15,000 containers per boat. Some of them they can unload in a day, other times it's a week to unload one boat. Oh yeah, I, I, I did some work with an electrician and he was telling me that, you know, circuit breakers are hard for him to get down. You know, so I'm, I'm sure it's just not happening to us, it's probably happening with everybody. It's a lot of explaining to clients why we don't have it and it's not our fault. And what do they say? Are they being pretty patient? Some of them, not all of them. <laughs> And both Bleeker and Donner attribute delays at the Long Beach port to COVID. Their sources say roughly 200 longshoremen were off the dock for a time, which caused that massive backlog in ships and containers. We reached out to the port for comment, but have not yet heard back.